What is the worst thing that can happen with you chasing your dreams now, ch facing your fears, and things happen? You fail? So what if you fail? I'm so sick of hearing people, oh, what if people look at me like a failure? Well, you're not doing anything right now, so most people are looking at you like a loser. Come on. Would you rather be looked at like a loser or you did something, learned a bunch of knowledge, even if it doesn't work, you learn a new skill, then you can build off that skill and branch out to different areas. I'm so sick of hearing, what if I fail? What if I look like an idiot? Who cares if you look like an idiot? Most people are looking like idiots chasing down the pack all the time. You got to realize this. There's nothing more scarier than getting to the end of your life and living in a bunch of regret because you were too scared because you were so scared of what everybody else is thinking about you stop worrying about everybody else and start worrying about you you have one life to live one life here to live and you're gonna sit here and be scared about what everybody's got to think we're all the same no one's better than you just because they got a little bit more status than you because they earned it doesn't mean they are better than you no one is better than you. Stop putting people on a pedestal. Stop idolizing people. Start looking at everybody like an, on an even playing field. Because you're not better than anyone just sitting there commenting on your phone all day. Scrolling on social media. Being a social justice warrior. That's not important. Start chasing your dreams out. Start doing what you want to do in this life. Because you only have one and you're sitting there wasting your time worrying about what other people got to say about you. Or worrying about failing. Or worrying about what could go wrong. What if I do this and I fail and I'm set back a couple years. So what? You're not doing anything right now. You're in the same position and you keep crying and crying and crying. Why am I in the same position? Why can't I get anywhere? Because you're not doing anything. You're just sitting there crying. You got to get up and start facing your fears. What is the worst that could happen? Really ask yourself that. What is the worst that can happen? You're sitting right here. This is the same exact position that you're in right now. And when you go out and try something, when you go out and achieve your goals, when you go out and attempt to chase your goals down, attempt to chase your dreams down, you're actually learning a new skill. You're becoming more smart, becoming more intelligent. You're learning more. You're becoming a better person because you're becoming more disciplined in the fact that you're chasing your dreams down because it means so much to you other than just sitting here watching Netflix. Oh, what's so good on Netflix today? What's so good on Instagram today? What's so good on Facebook today? What's so good on YouTube today? Stop worrying about any of that stuff that's going to be there at the end of the day when you get done chasing your goals down, when you get done chasing your dreams down, when you get done chasing your aspirations down. I'm sorry, this is firing you up because I'm so sick of, oh, what could go wrong? You should go rely on a job. Hi, you are nothing to... That's not even the point of the video. Just start chasing your dreams down. Start chasing you. Do what you got to do. Do what If you want to be financially free, start working to become financially free. It's not just because you have all the... You have all these visions up here. They're not just visions. Those are That's your imagination telling you what you are capable of. Start chasing it down. You are so powerful beyond your greatest measure and you don't even realize it. And you're wasting all your potential just sitting around being lazy. It's so annoying. Because everyone's like, I can't believe you do that every day. I can't believe you go run every day. I can't believe you go to the gym. I can't believe you read. I can't believe you make YouTube videos. What do you mean you can't believe? This means a lot to me. I'd rather it work. Or I'd rather see if it can work than just sit there and hope for it to work. I'd rather do this, fall flat on my face, get back up and try again, than sit there and regret, oh, what could happen? What could happen? Regret sucks. There's a lot of things. I'm not going to lie. I regret growing up, but you move on from it. Don't. Don't let it haunt you, but you keep moving forward because I don't want that pain that I've had before sitting here with me all the time. I hope this is meaning something to you. I hope this is relating something to you because I'm telling you, you have one life here on earth that you got to start doing something or you're just going to sit here and be nothing. Don't you want to leave a lasting legacy? Don't you want to see what you are capable of? Don't you want to see what you could turn this, your body into? That's motivation enough for me. What can you take this like? That's what motivates me. What, where can you take this life of yours? Can you become the most powerful person you can be? Can you be the best person that you can be? Or are you just going to keep sitting there being like a lazy sack of potatoes, just sitting there, couch sitting all the time, judging everybody else's life? That's not healthy. And you're just going to sit there and regret your whole life wishing, 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 wishing does nothing. No one's coming around and tapping you on the shoulder, telling you it's going to be okay and you're going to be able to get to where you want to be. That's not how life works. That's not how anything works. The most successful people you look up to all chase their dreams down. And whether you like to admit it or not, they weren't lucky. They put in some work and they chased their dreams down. They weren't living in fear. They weren't living in regret. They weren't doing any of that BS. They were moving forward day after day, falling flat on their face, getting back up and trying again because they knew falling on my face is a lot more better pain than sitting there and regret 
crying, wishing I could have been something. When you had all the time in the world, your one life to chase your dreams down, chase your goals down, chase your aspirations down. Be, get serious about it. Get disciplined about it. What do you want to achieve out of this life? This is a little message for you. Wake up call. Get moving. Get chasing your dreams down. Get chasing your goals down. Get chasing your aspirations down. You only have one life to live. The margin of error is closing, man. You never know when your last day is going to be. Start living your life. It's your boy T signing out. Enjoy your day.